Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mesner Media tutorial, we are going to be making a flat, muddy, black and white look inside of DaVinci Resolve, and we are going to use a splitter combiner node, because no one ever uses those, and why not? So without further ado, let's hop to DaVinci Resolve and get started. Here we've got this nice footage of a little acoustic session, sort of impromptu, that I filmed a while back, and we're going to make this look flat and hipstery and black and white. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bump the saturation up some just because it makes it easier to work with splitter combiner nodes. I'm going to hit Alt-Y. Boom! Splitter combiner. Now we've got red. Hit Shift-H. Green and blue. And these are where we're going to kind of make our look. But you'll see right now we don't have black and white. So I'm going to create another node out here with Alt-S. and go to RGB Mixer make it monochrome. And manipulating your look using these separate uh, channels per node gives you a little bit more control than just using these sliders here for converting to black and white and a little bit different kind of control than just using a curves node so let's see what we can do here the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce the contrast of our blue channel down to zero you see we're already getting a little bit of a flatter look and I'm gonna increase the red channel some that's already looking pretty cool and let's decrease this and now we're getting nice and flat so we can move our pivot around and just sort of dial this into taste. And you'll get nice and really interesting sort of look. So that's obviously too much. And there's that. Maybe we'll bring some contrast back here just a little bit. And yeah, just use it to sort of darken up there. Back to this guy. Nice. And then if you want to be a little bit more tricky, this is sort of the bulk of the look. But you can before the splitter combiner node, just add a little vignette and make things a little bit more fun. So we'll make it a pretty sort of targeted vignette. Well, it won't be super specific, but it'll be good enough. Uh, so we're going to add a big one like this, and we're going to bring the gamma down. That's already looking pretty good, but we'll go a little bit more hardcore. And we're going to add another circle here, and we're going to make it into a mask just like this. So you can see over in our node here exactly what that's doing. So it's sort of just making sure that our talent here is nice and bright. And you could of course do this with a sort of custom curve, but you know, this is a tutorial, so I'm gonna do things an interesting way. And just add another one for Aaron over here, turn it into a mask, and feather it all out. So nice, we are looking good there. So there's that, just a nice, quick, simple, a lot of fun, very useful, flat-ish, hipstery, black and white look. And as you all know, people who don't put effort into their black and white looks are just the worst kind of people. So now you cannot be the worst kind of people. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. Share this with your friends if you think they could benefit from learning how to make a little black and white, flat, muddy look. That's just fantastic for all sorts of music-y stuff. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Mister Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, we've got links for socials down in the description below. And if you want to be just top tier, go to mesonmedia.com slash products, check out House Lutz and the Bright Lights Light Leak Pack, which, just for fun, we'll go ahead and just add it on top of this, because why the heck not? So there's endpoint, and we will just go ahead and cut this guy here, and we will go ahead and set this guy to screen. I'm going to reduce the opacity some. And then this will sort of also add a weird little bit of color to our black and white look. And you can, of course, also add, well, I mean, we'll go ahead and, and do it. Tutorial's over. Now we're just playing around. So leave if you don't want to see this. Anyway, so what we could do here is we could go into our gallery and we could grab a still. We could reset all grades and nodes here. And then we could add both of these into a new group. We will call this black and white. Then we can go edit our group, post clip, drag this guy on there. And now you can see that not only is our light leak the same uh, color palette as our, well, quote, color, unquote, palette as our clip, it also has these little bright spots in it, which could be cool. So that's the end of it. Once again, MeesnerMedia.com slash products, best place on the internet. Once again, I've been Theo with Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.